Hey, 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 what is going on, my ladies? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again for the Daily Bread for February, Wednesday, the 27th, and Thursday, the 28th. Yes, indeed. So we are here, and we are clear, and we are dear to heart. We are trying to find out the energies and the Daily Bread from our Father. Yes, indeed. All right, ladies. Um, so let's do the house announcements. If anyone wants a personal private reading, go ahead and check out that hyperlink on my about page. It says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. And you can go ahead and book a personal and private reading with me. If you would like to give a love donation, if the readings resonated, gave you some insight, and if you just want to drop a dollar or two in the PayPal, you could do so. There's a hyperlink in the description and um, you can go ahead and show some love let's get into the prayer thank you so much father god for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future we are here to divine feminine coming to you to get daily bread for wednesday the 27th and the 28th of February for Wednesday and Thursday the 27th and the 28th of February thank you so much father we come in here for enrichment high in spirit just high in motivation thank you so much for just all of the messages and just all of the guidance because it's been giving us fuel to our fire we are just passionate we are fiery we are determined ever so determined and we thank you so much for being so gracious in our life for moving forth in our life for giving us so much love and just covering us and keeping us warm and providing us rest when we need thank you so much father please give us guidance again for february the 27th and the 28th which is wednesday and thursday the 27th and the 28th of february thank you again father god please give us guidance thank you all right all right, ladies, so I'm going to kind of go back to the old style. Hopefully, I don't make this a two-hour long video. Okay. I blew out my candle. Father God, please give us guidance for Wednesday and Thursday, 27th and 28th. Everywhere. Thank you so much. Ooh. Thank you so much. Please give it divine feminine daily bread. Okay. So you know. This look bad, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's a lot, though. It's a lot. Okay. Alright. So this is what I got here. So, we starting out with the seven of wands in reverse so this is just basically saying um there's no more conflict and you know why because this person this person knows that they're gotta go into battle and before they're going into battle they're taking a second to just pray because they know that there's a conflict that they're going to probably be dealing with uh, a lot of people talking bad about them trying to have to defend themselves and you know just go through a whole bunch of bull crap and they know that this is a battle that they got to undertake and it's not something that they can avoid and they're just taking a second to kneel and ask for prayer before um, having to pick up their wand and a go and have to fight for their life. Um, I feel like right now. You, you know what? I take back what I said before. You are about to go into a battle. You are about to go into a battle. I feel like um, for some of you. You are about to undertake a battle. Um, 
I don't think that you've seen it coming. I don't think that you've seen it coming. However, it's one more undertaking that you're going to have to go through before this new beginning comes to you. And um, this is just trying to warn you that this is something that is going to take a lot of focus and a lot of prayer. So this is a step that you truly cannot skip before you go into this battle. You have to be prepared. This is something that you have to be guided by faith and you have to be prepared because when you're trying to make big changes in your life, there's going to be big tests and there's going to be a lot of adversaries coming after you because they don't want to see you grow and they don't want to see you fully become the queen, the empress, the power that you are going to be. It's more powerful to them when you are in stagnation and not believing in yourself and not moving in self-love and not knowing your power. So you have to honestly kneel and ask God, you know, to please keep you in his favor and for him to stand next to you in this battle. Because you know that this one is probably going to be a rough one. But after this last battle, everything is going to be all good in the hood. And because of this, I think that, I mean, this here... I don't think that you see you didn't see this one coming because you you thought honestly that all of the hardships had been dealt with um, and that the storm was over and that you know the sunshine was coming out but God said it's one more thing it's one more thing hitting them in the closet that we ain't address and we got to address it and I think that you thought that you would slip <laughs> and that God wasn't going to see that and he did and he said when I said clean house I mean clean house so you didn't see this one coming because you thought that you was going to be able to get away with this one but uh uh when, when, when the Lord said it's time to shut it down it's time to shut it down and you are a little bit upset about this right now you are upset about having to go through this one last battle this one last thing this one last big unforeseen transformation that is truly going to make you better. Because honestly what it is. Um, honestly what it is. I think that for some of you. And this truly does not pertain to a lot of you. So if this does not resonate with you don't take it. Um, because there's a lot of new energies coming to my pages and, and everyone is in different transitions in the healing process. But this is someone, this is someone that is still a little bit bitter and resentful in regards to the fact that there was a big shakedown in the relationship and then they, they still have lingering remnants of this heartbreak. Yes, the swords. In these in this card, the sword hasn't even pierced the heart. You know? And it's like you're catching something, you're recognizing something before it even gives you the chance to, and you're rejecting it. So I feel for some people. You are in a stage where you are dating, you're meeting someone new, and there's this unforeseen battle that you didn't realize that you were going to un have to undertake because you thought that, and, and the thing that you need to realize is you can't get excited about the first pair of shoes that you see in the store. You need to walk around and see which one really fits you because that one might not, you might not be able to wear with all your outfits. And possibly when you walk out the store, you go around the block, it might hurt your feet a little bit. Don't get excited about the first thing being offered to you. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Make sure that you're choosing the right thing. Because if you don't, you might be having to undertake an unforeseen battle that you really did not see coming. And you were not prepared for it. You were not prepared for it. 
You were not prepared for it. And it's got you mad as shit. Like you were pissed the fuck off because you you thought you thought that you was comfortable. You thought that you've been through all your tower moments. And before this situation could get any farther than what it is, you were already rejecting the heartbreak before it could even pierce your heart. Okay? So you were deciding to withdraw yourself and remove yourself from the situation yet again. You're upset because you're just like, yet again, I'm having to go through a time moment and sit back and reflect on how the fuck I got myself in this situation because I know better than this. And this person thought that they were going to try to pull a, a slick one on you and they couldn't because, like I said, you are the high priestess and you know all and you caught the shit before this person was even able to do it. And for the ones that, like I said, are still in the situation, it's one last battle that you got to go through. Because I still feel that this person is still in your house. For some of you guys, this person is still in your house in some way. Do you see? And people are coming to your rescue to come and help you because this storm is a brewing and you don't even see it. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, why, why, why did you let this person back in your house? So y'all is still dealing with this person in some way, aspect, shape or form. And it's just like people are like, no way. No, 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 no. We went too, we went through too much. We went through too much. We, no, 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 no. This motherfucker about to get the fuck up out of here. Do you see what I'm saying? And I don't even think that you see that people are hip. And that they're coming because they're not about to have that shit. Okay? They're like, before this motherfucker break your heart again, you see that? You see that, uh, whatever that type of bird is. Isn't that the type of birds that, um, like to feast on decayed carcasses and shit? You know, they seen that bird flying around and they said, hold on, what's going on? Uh-uh, before this shit even happened, uh-uh. No, 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 no. They go to bird again. Remove yourself. Remove yourself. Remove yourself. So for the people that still got that man lingering around in the house, I feel like a village of people, like your family or your friends or somebody is about to come and kick your and his ass if you still got this person in your life. For the people that that ex person is completely gone and you're dating new people, you're finding out new things about the person that you're with. This was an unforeseen situation and you upset because you're having to start all over again. Um, you were dealing with possibly a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, um, King of Wands. This is someone very passionate. This is someone um, very athletic, very sexy, very fit. Um, it's, I mean, it's a very good lover. I mean, this is, a, yeah, you know. And I feel like with this person... You saw and foreseen a solid new beginning with this person. You really did. You really seen that. So let me get into, let me dig a little bit deeper because I want to find out exactly like, Because you start off not realizing that this is something that needs prayer. It's a conflict that you didn't really see coming. And honestly, I feel like you felt defenseless in this situation because I want to say you were blindsided by this. I mean, you were blindsided by this. You were blindsided by this. Something about the past in the third party. Yeah, somebody is still dealing with someone from the past. 
someone is still dealing with someone from the past and you went back and got yourself back into a situation where it's a third party and it's like now you're the third party in this situation you're the third party situation and you waited for this person to come back only to come back and put you in a situation of stagnation where there's a whole bunch of storms going on in your life this person okay so to clarify the situation for some of you ladies yes this is your ex that you allowed back in your house you allowed this ex back into your house okay and for some reason this person you just felt this overwhelming feeling of nostalgia because you ain't seen this person in a long time and this person start talking about all these memories and shit from when y'all was younger and all this stuff and like <laughs> you felt compelled emotionally to put life back into a situation that was already destroyed dead and over with and you started balancing your time and your emotion with this person because from all you knew at that point in time and and, and from what was being given to you at this time, this person seemed like they were able to give to you emotionally this time around in a way that they weren't doing before. <laughs> you know, you see this person coming by like, hey, hi. Like what y'all done seen? Y'all done met each other at the grocery store or something? Y'all done met, met each other in the marketplace or some shit? Like, hey, hi. Like, what's going on? How you doing? Y'all give each other a deep hug and shit. You smelling that cologne and stuff from the past. You remember the way he smelled and just complete sense of nostalgia. You're just like, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you're completely forgetting. You're completely forgetting about the fact that this person left you for somebody else. This person left you by yourself to go off and work with somebody else. Okay? So, I feel like this person is going to pump your head up with a whole bunch of bullshit this time around. And this person is possibly going to be like, you know... I'm willing to go seek counseling. I'm willing to really put the work in and do whatever you need to do. Like, um, you know, like even your family. I'm willing to, you know, deal with whatever I got to deal with with your family. I'm willing to put the work in this time. Like, it doesn't even matter. Woo, woo, woo. Only for you to be left standing there by yourself. And it's like, yet again, you're the only one bring it a foundation to the table where you at where are you, like where like where the people that's supposed to be helping y'all get this shit together that they was talking about you know what i'm saying he talking all of this bullshit no nah, like you know I, somebody that I know, you know what I'm saying, I really look up to they said that they was willing to counsel us and all of this stuff and where, where they at I don't see nobody on that call but you willing to come to the table with something sturdy to work with. And yet again, you're still left standing alone. You're still left standing alone. You're still left standing alone. And you're waiting. Waiting. Waiting again. For something. Listen. This is something that it takes a lot of hard work. More work than it, in my personal opinion, is truly worth putting into the situation surrounding this person. And yet again, you are waiting by yourself. And look at this person's face. Does this person look happy? Do they look like they are enduring this weight? It looks foggy. I don't even think this person can truly see clearly. Or, you know, it's just like desertous. I don't really see any life here. And it looks like in order for this situation to grow, it has to grow on the head of something else that needed to die first. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? I just, I just. And here you go again, wrapped up and blinded in stagnation and can't make a decision mentally and figure out if you hot or cold about this situation with this person. And yet again, only to realize, like I said, that you were the only one willing to actually work on anything. Because behind your back, you don't know that this person is behind your back still working on something with somebody, with someone else. You don't even know that shit's going on behind your back. That's where the motherfucker is at for real, for real, working with the other motherfucker. Like I said, this is third-party energy, which we see up here. So this person coming back is like, hello, how you doing? You know... To get you all excited, thinking that y'all really, you know, this person is willing to work on you, work with you on something, only to have you waiting, blinded and confused yet again, not knowing that you're going to have to get in a situation where you're going to have to defend yourself again, because now you're the side bitch, you're the homewrecker, you're the one they calling. You're the one having to defend yourself about why you're dealing with somebody else's man. And it's like, dear Lord Jesus, I ain't even realize I'm going to have to go through this shit. Let me do I should have never fucked with this person to begin with. And I feel like that's what you're feeling. And you're mad about it. You did not see this shit coming. I don't know how you did not see this person. This coming. This person has not changed at all. At all. So it's just like completely avoid this. And separate yourself from the situation. So that a true king. A real king can come for you. That can bring you a solid beginning. Stop dealing with this person. Stop dealing with this person. Whoever this is. That is still dealing with this person. Y'all have to stop dealing with this person. Because you are truly blocking. Your blessing. And you are blocking. Your new beginning and love. Spirit, can you please clarify this King of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles, please? Father God, please clarify this King of Wands. You need strength. You need strength to get here. You need strength to get here. Uh huh. You have to continue moving forward. And it's like God is giving you all of the resources and the help that you need to get to where you need to go. But it's like you keep allowing this person to sneak back in your life instead of, instead of like turning your back to him and, and telling him to kiss your ass. Truly. And this is someone that you really shouldn't be offering your love to. This is someone you shouldn't be offering your love to. Stop allowing this person to sneak back in your... Yes. Or you're going to be stuck here. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. Okay? All right? So to get to this King of Wands in this new beginning here, you have to control yourself. Okay? I know that you never thought that you and this person wouldn't be with each other again. But it's done. It's over with. You know that this person is toxic and not good for you. You have to control your temptation and your desire. You have to control the beast. Even if this person does come and try to sneak back around. Just say, hey, how you doing? Look. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I ain't even built like you no more. I'm down here on some mermaid shit. Um, yeah, you enjoy your time up there. Uh, pitch tosh. I'll holler at you later. Uh, girl. Because this look what's behind this car. Temptation. You have to control being tempted by this beast. Do you understand? You have to be a lot more gentle with yourself. Give yourself some time and learn how to control your energy and control this beast and be that angel and be the beautiful person that you are. Listen to me. Continue to move forward. There is nothing left there. There's nothing left. There is. What, do you see what's left there? Girl, stay in the light. Stay in the light. There is nothing left there. And God is sending you guidance to help you along your way. You have all of the resources you needed. There is nothing to go back there for. And you need to be mentally clear about that and keep moving. Keep moving. All right. Your heart right now 
is in a healing process. Honestly. And that is why you're seeing this girl's bum tail. You are seeing this girl's tail. That is Aphrodite's tail. She is telling you that you need to turn your back to this idiot that keeps trying to sneak back in your energy. There he go. You see him trying to always sneak in. Trying to sneak in. No. Case is closed. Next case. Okay. Listen. This is the thing that you don't realize. That is a burden that needs to be put down and be released. Or you are going to be forever trapped carrying this burden and this is a statue of this man he's walking right past a statue of his own soap and he don't even realize it he's been carrying this burden so long he don't even realize that it's been permeated in people's mind that that's all he is and that's all he will ever be it's this fool walking around carrying this burden thinking that he's going to make it to the promised land there ain't no what promised land like, I'm going to make it to Wakanda. Wakanda don't fucking exist. Like, my nigga, it was a movie. You feel what I'm saying? And you just walk around carrying some shit, talking about, uh, like, uh, like, that you're going to get into this fictional place, and everybody's laughing at you, and it's all that they see you as is this idiot carrying this burden of this... Do you understand? If that, if you do not snap out of it and get some strength and really try to control yourself and try to... Work hard of seriously ending this shit. You're not going to get to this. You're not going to get to this. You, ha you have to. You have to. You have to. You really do have to. Spirit, please give me a spread for my ladies that are past this situation. <clears throat> Sp um, Spirit, please give me some guidance for the ladies that are already past this situation and that are healed and looking for new love please give me guidance please give me guidance for them in their day to day thank you so much spirit thank you so much Barbara. please give the ladies guidance for wednesday this is the nine of pentacles in reverse probably should just let that fall out naturally Rest it. I'm gonna put that back, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, and those are butterflies on him while he's resting. That's beautiful. The window has opened up and butterflies have come in. That is beautiful. Oh, it's time to wake up, baby. It is time to wake up. The Nine of Cups, okay. Oh, he all dirty. Filling up the cups, looking all nasty. Looks like he was working hard to pull it up. And look at them little, little kids back there sneaking, looking like they about to try to steal some of them cups. There's three kids back there. I ain't even noticed that. Spirit, please give me. Yeah, okay. The Empress, two kids. Woo! Okay. The world. And then we're going to break this on down. Lord, look. I'm saying, look, look. The Lord said, you want, you asked, and I'm giving it to you. So, don't say nothing. You asked. You asked. All right. So, this is going to be a long video. All right. So, this energy is for my new ladies. Because I know for my regulars, this is not their energy. This might be new people that have been brought to my page. Or... Maybe some of my ladies that have backslid um, that might still be dealing with someone from their past. Or like I said, might be dating someone new and you didn't see it coming that this person um, wasn't necessarily the person for them. And they're going to have to go through this lesson and um, not wait. Not wait. Because this, this person... Remind you of someone from your past. This is another situation where you're going to be left alone. Working on a situation that um, it's not going to be anything there to build. Don't wait. Don't wait and try to put time and effort on something that is already dead. It's coming to you as a dead situation. Don't be blinded to that for those ladies, okay? You know that this new beginning is coming and it's going to come 
from a man that's very passionate and very determined to be in your life. But you have to get past these lessons and um, recognize these people for who they are and quickly get them out of your life when it, when you realize that. Um, there's another group of women that are still in a place of healing. And what God is trying to tell you is that he is opening up the window and trying to um, let some sunshine and some air come in there. Because they want you to... Um, really truly understand like almost I want to say like spirit push the window open like a burst of air to come into your house because I want to say that you've been keeping your windows closed like you like there's been no lighter no no joy no happiness and I feel like you've just retreated from the world because of everything that's went on and You've been going through life in your regular routine and stuff like that. But I feel like you have been keeping yourself tucked away. And God is just sending butterflies just mysteriously. Like almost like it's just like how the fuck did, did, did my window get open and these butterflies come in here. But it's just that God is sending you a sign of new beginnings and, and, and new blessings coming to you. And it's time for you to come to terms mentally What what happened. And you need to get yourself prepared and get ready to get up and come back out. Okay. You are going to be um, emotionally fulfilled by this new beginning. Not only you, but you see your kids. Your kids, I feel like, are going to be so enamored by your growth. And how able you are to pour your positive emotions into all of those cups and how happy you are and how fulfilled you are. And I feel like your kids are looking at you just amazed because I don't think that they've ever seen you happy like this. And I feel like your kids are happy in there and they like want to sneak one of those cups because they, they're just like, why is mommy so happy? I want to see what was she, you know what I'm saying? What is she filling herself up with? And, um, I feel like everyone is watching you almost, you know, like you are just like so fulfilled at this time. You are really fulfilled, but you see his feet is dirty. He worked hard. He worked hard for this fulfillment. You see what I'm saying? He worked damn hard for this fulfillment. And this is the empress taking care of her children, taking care of her children. I feel like your children is what really brings you peace being able to provide for them is what brings you peace truly making them happy filling their cups up providing them with emotional fulfillment that's what truly brings you happiness so um I want you to continue to create. I want you to continue to be a good mother to your children. I want you to continue to create a comfortable environment for you. Um, your life is moving. Your life is changing. Your life is evolving. And as you can see, you will soon be in a new world where you will be wrapped up in a new environment with your soulmate. Hand in hand, arm in arm, almost so close with each other that you look like one entity together. Truly. And this is the fixed energy. This ain't going nowhere. This ain't going nowhere. And for your soulmate, your husband, to be in this world card with you, that says a lot because normally that's just one woman there. Do you see what I'm saying? So, that's that. Let me see. Ooh. Let me see this is. Oh, well, let me stop. I'm turning cards over. Okay, so for this other group of people here. I guess I'm just doing groups of people today. I'm just doing whatever the hell I want to do today. But it's other group of people here. I feel like you are in a situation where someone is trying to um, gain mental control over you. And um, be careful of the battles that you're fighting. And know when to put your sword down. You're not going to win this one. You're not going to win this one. Um, 
this is a battle with someone that is deceitful that's a liar that is very cunning and manipulative and um will you know kind of seep real low will seep real low to try to have a uh, one hand up on you so to say and um, I don't really think that this is a battle worth you trying to fight here but I feel like this person has kind of angered you and this person you know you feel like they pushed you and put you in a situation where you weren't having stable footing and stable ground and like a quicksand like they help guide you into a a, a a a trap that's how you feel you feel like this this person guided you in a trap into a situation where they knew that you were not going to be able to get out of not only were you not going to be able to see where you're going but you weren't going to be able to get your footing together because every time that you would move your foot you would start to sink further in the ground and this person knew that they put you in a situation like that because that's where they desired you to be mentally stuck and bound and trapped because they want a certain level of control over you um, your intuition is something that needs to be heightened at this moment and I and you see that you know you're being summoned. The crab is being summoned. I feel like some of you are uh, water signs, possibly a Cancer or a Pisces here, but you see those towers back there. So I want to say that you've had you've had two tower moments, or this is your second tower moment with this person that you really didn't see coming. Okay. So this is going back to this group up here. I'm saying, I'm thinking, this is a second tower moment with this person that you didn't see coming, and you need to use your intuition to guide you through this situation. Truly, don't sit there and willingly put a blindfold on and act like you you can't see what's going on. And like say to yourself, I, I can't make a decision. I don't know what to do. You at this point because this shit has happened already. It's happened already. So you need to use your intuition and let it guide you. Okay, this I don't really see that this is truly a secret, you know. You didn't see it coming, but you're not surprised by it. So that's why I'm being guided to tell you use your intuition. Don't willingly put a fucking blindfold on and sit there and act stupid. Come on now. There you go trying to blind yourself again. You're trying to act like you're confused and like you don't see what's going on. You fucking know what's going on. You know what's going on. You're very aware. You know that this person has no intentions of offering you anything. You know that. You know that. You need to get in your chariot and you need to get your emotions together so that you can steer this chariot correctly and you need to move forward. You have to move forward, okay? Because unlike this group right here that knows, okay, once I create a healthy environment for me and my kids, once I start creating a healthy and a comfortable environment for me and my kids, my whole world's going to change. My whole world's going to change. I have been chilling and spirit is opening up the window. It's telling me it's time for the new beginnings that you've been praying for. And that is why my world is changing. That is why that forward movement is coming in my energy. And that's why it's going to stick. Unlike these, this group here, okay? You dibbling and dabbling. You can't dibble and dabble. You have to know in order to be successful, you have to be emotionally together you how you can't be back and forth flippity floppity you cannot be flippity floppity okay when you're at this stage right here that's when everything will come to you okay this is the queen of pentacles she is pretty too look at her look at her girl look at her this is the queen of pentacles 
All right? She is stable. Her environment is fruitful. She is secure. And she knows how to make things grow and how to nurture things. And as you can see, that pinnacle is being offered to her by the snake. And the snake is representative on many of the cards on people's staffs and things. And it's also a sign of wisdom. Her wisdom and her insight and her ability to nurture and believe and give dedication and time to a situation and patience and faith allowed her to get to this point where she's a queen and she's able to have that solidarity solidarity around her like that. She used all of the tools and resources that was given to her like the magician and she was able to make magic happen in her life. Magic happen. Magic. And she's at a point right now. I don't even think um I don't even think that all of the resources have even been given to her like they I mean they're just being suggested everything is not even on the table as of as of yet he has that snake of wisdom wrapped around his head uh he has the wand he has the wand and the sword in the hand the cup is being offered and the little chimp has the pinnacle so they're not even on the table. Not everything is even on the table yet. And then this this candle that he normally holds this is that represents as above, so below. That is typically in his hand. So this person is still learning how to use his power. But even though this person is learning how to use this power, this person has all of the resources in. He figured out a way how to make that shit happen. This person had to clean up their environment. Had to truly clean up their environment. Get all them weeds. Get all that stuff out the way. And put, really put that time in and focus and pay attention. And, you know, have that patience and wait for it to pay off. That was the thing that made them strong enough to pull that sword out of the stone. What was that movie where the, uh, it's a Disney movie where God pulled the sword out of the stone. Whatever that movie is. That's what made you special and made you to be able to pull the sword out of the stone. Being able to conquer this and know this and go through this level of, you know, rebirth. To have this strength and this knowledge. And just knowing that you deserve better. And as you're going to go through some shit and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But that new birth. And that success is right there beneath your feet. And it's worth fighting for. But you can't keep going back to shit that you don't deserve going back to. You want to keep reversing everything that you worked for. You want to keep reversing everything that you worked for. Alright. So I think this was long enough. Let me just go ahead and just real quick. Just throw some love cards out there on the table. And then we're going to get, get, get it. We're going to get, get, get it. Because I just kind of freestyled this. I just kind of did whatever I was moved to do on this. So whichever spread, you know, whatever resonates with you. If you guys are still watching it, whatever resonates with you, take it. Whatever doesn't, don't. Um, it was a whole bunch of different energies here. So whatever fit with you, yeah. But for you ones that's been backsliding, stop backsliding. Deception. Deception. You know that this person is being deceptive. This person has issues that stems way beyond you. This person has issues that has something to do with their family upbringing. I feel like this person seen their father dog their mother out. Yeah, and you never really took the chance to get to know this person the way that you should. You really don't know this person the way that you should. You, you think that you know... And honestly, I want to say that when it comes down to talking about certain things in their past with their family and like the relationships and things like that, I don't think that you really truly know everything that there is to know. That's just like in your situation when you guys broke up, you know what I'm saying? 
probably all this person's family and friends, they only know his side of the story. They don't really truly know everything that this person did to you. You see what I'm saying? And that's the same thing. You don't truly know everything. You don't truly know everything. Because there's a lot of deception going on with this person. This person is a very deceptive individual. I don't know that this person knows how to not be this way. This person, does, it, it's almost, it's an addictive thing. And I feel like this is something that comes from a, from a long history of just like a, a, a bad pattern through their family. It's like almost a hereditary thing. I think this is something that this person inherited from their father. This homewrecking type I mean just womanizing thing and I don't think that you took the time to really get to know that you didn't really know this person you really didn't know this person as much as you thought that you did what is that that just flew out um recognition that's what you're waiting for some type of recognition from this person um and you thought that it was going to come last fall but it didn't you thought that it was going to come last fall, but it didn't. I only, I honestly want to say that this person ended up choosing somebody else. Oh. New direction. It's time for a new direction. It's time for a new direction. This is something that you need to not just think about, but this is something that is it's fifth dimensional. Um, fifth, Hold on. Fifth dimensional union. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Listen. You wanted recognition. You wanted recognition last fall that didn't happen. It didn't happen, okay? It didn't happen. Spirit is trying to tell you to take a new direction. Because there is going to be a union that is going to be felt on a fifth dimension. I feel like this is something that is going to be like spiritually guided. This is something that is going to completely be on your wavelength that you're going to be able to feel on a multitude of different levels. You have to take a new direction in love. You have to take a new direction in love. Do you have any additional messages? Separation. And listen, separate from this person. Delete this first block this person from being able to call you. Okay. Delete all of the pictures. Delete all of the texts. Then I need you to delete this person out of your phone. Once you delete that first that person out of your phone, unless you know the number by heart, the number ain't in your phone. It's already blocked. So, like, you will have to go through a whole bunch of bullshit to find that number again. Block this person from um, social media, everything. This person can't find you, can't contact you, even if they wanted to, and neither could you, okay? And you would look like a fool going back and re reverse doing all that shit. Separate, make it impossible for you guys to talk to each other. Do yourself and do this man a favor. Let it go. Separate separation it's time for separation this is this and this is a battle that you're not going to win you're not going to win this one this person just wants to demonstrate mind control over you you're not going to win this one you're not going to win with this person you're not ever going to he this person doesn't make the situation so that you can win in, in, in with them this person this person has been watching you online. Okay? This person has been watching you online. And this was in the reverse. So I wanted to say, if this is you, stop watching this person. Because at first I wanted to say this person was watching you online. But then after I thought about it, it did come out like this. I want to tell you to stop watching this person. Stop it. Refocus. Refocus. Stop stop watching this person. I feel like you be going on this person's um, Facebook and shit like that seeing. Yeah. Refocus and take action. Block yourself from this person block this person from being able to look at and contact you i feel like both of you guys look at each other online 
And y'all shouldn't. Like, leave each other the fuck alone. Leave each other alone so y'all can, you can open up the door for new love in your life. Please, 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 please. What is it saying? Pause. Like, you're not really trying to take a pause. Like, you're really not trying to take a pause and realize what's going on here. And it's not something, it's honestly, you don't need to take a pause. You need to take a full fucking break. You need a complete ending, okay? But that's what, I mean, that, that that's what it's trying to say. Like, you, you're not trying to make a pause. You, you, you're not trying to, you're not trying to kind of, like, put the brakes on this here. What is this? You're not trying to do it because... I don't really feel like you fear. I don't, you know what? I don't feel like you're in fear. I don't really feel like you're in fear. And I don't feel like you have anything to hide. And you know that this person is deception. You know that this person is deception. And you know that the answer is a no in this situation. But for some reason... But for some reason, you're trying to figure out ways to reinvent yourself. Because you regret returning because you were ascendant. Yeah. All right, so listen. This is a moment where you truly, truly, truly have to put the firm brakes on everything right now. Okay? On everything. Whoever this is in this energy. Because I want to say that you didn't really see that this is something that you need to put the pause on. You need to pause. And don't delay this. Pause. Alright? I don't feel that you are in fear and you know that you don't have to put a mask on. You know who you are and you know what you want. You know that there is deception here. You know it. But you're in denial about it. You know that this person has somebody else. You already know it. Because it's the same bitch that this person left you for. And in regards to if this situation is going to work and if this person is going to be there forever and if this person loves you, the answer is no. But you're in denial about it. You're still delaying putting this shit on pause because it's like you're struggling with this denial. And it's like, stop feeling like if I could just reinvent myself, there's no way that you could reinvent yourself to make this situation better. There's no way that you could reinvent yourself. So stop trying to reinvent yourself to make this situation better. Is, is this person in love with you? No. Is this person going to be with you? No. Stop being in denial about it, okay? Stop being in denial about the deception here. You know that there's deception here. I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You're going to regret returning to this person because your life was ascending. Your life was ascending. You are going to regret going back to this person. Your life was ascending to such a higher place. It was no need for you to go back and, and it was no need for that. It was no need for that. Stop going back and looking at this person's page because this is someone that you need to separate from. This is someone that you need to separate from. And the more and more that you keep going back and looking at this person, you are feeding that energy and you're... Telling the universe that you want this energy coming back to you no matter how much heartbreak it brings to you. Stop that shit. You need to refocus and take action in doing that. Alright? So you guys, I hope y'all like this reading. I know that this was a lot and I know that this was long and my readings are always long. So let me see what this says. Reward yourself. Sensitivity. All right. Reward yourself. You're very sensitive at this moment. Okay. So make sure that you're staying focused and 
you know, know to constantly to reward yourself in the way of feeding goodness to yourself, feeding goodness into your heart, okay? What is it saying? Energy work. Focus on your energy. Focus on the energies that surround you, okay? And make sure that you have confidence. I feel like this person that you have been dealing with messes with your confidence. Messes with your confidence, okay? And your strength. This person says everything that you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. It has made you strong and courageous. But stop feeling weak to the situation. All right? You inspire young people to learn. I feel like this situation that you've gone through is going to inspire a lot of young people. Once you get your shit together, grab your balls, grab your balls, and go forward. And don't turn back. And go over here to this king in this new beginning. Alright, I ain't pulling no more cards, y'all. I'm gone. Peace.